Hi first grade families, my name is Mrs. Gaffney and this is just a little information video to go over some of my main forms of communication throughout this year in terms of management, um, homework, and kind of what to expect throughout the school year. Um, the first thing is your students have already been bringing this to and from school every day. This is their take home folder. Um, if they ever forget one, I have some extras or if they have catch up work, there's another one I'll send home. In this folder, you will find a monthly newsletter. I will change this out monthly. This is just kind of an overview of what our month will look like and some important dates I'll have here. On the back, as you can see, I will change the lunch menu. So you will have that. On this page, I will be adding in your student login information. So this is for Super Kids and IXL. I'll be going over those a little later in the year as we get into things. Um, but this will be a QR code that brings you right to the site where you just type in their username and password. And here's some extra stuff. Um, behind it, I believe there should be a schedule. Um, and then this third one will be used throughout the year in terms of how um, any other resources that we might need for math or for reading. And maybe it's a hundreds chart um, or it's a timeline or something that'll help them on their math homework. Um, I'm gonna be following along this packet today. So I sent it home with your child. I'm just gonna kinda talk through some big ones and if you have any questions, you can always reach out, but I'm not gonna go over everything cause it will be on the, in this packet. Um, if you turn the page, my main form of communication will be Seesaw. So if you did not download the Seesaw app yet, please get connected to our account. I know a lot of you have and you've already seen pictures posted um, and any sort of random announcement if something changes throughout the day or a different deadline, that'll be my main forum of just a quick, hey, just a heads up. Um, so that would be good to have on. Some of you use it for messaging, that has been great. Um, but that is the main kind of thing is Seesaw. Um, a lot of you did say emails and I have that noted if that's your preferred method of communication and I will send out emails to our whole class as well, randomly for the more important things. Um, the main thing of communication, obviously I said Seesaw, but every day your student's going to bring home a sheet that looks like this. And this is just a sample I wrote. So it doesn't always look this crazy. I just have some kind of um, stuff to help guide you through it. Um, it'll give you week by week our cycle day. I'll note what day we have library so you know to send books with your child. Um, the next section of our learning extension sheet is the word of the day. So your student will, we come up with a word at the end of the day. It often has something to do with either, either social studies, science, or maybe it's a pattern word. Um, and then they will identify their color. I'll talk about colors in a moment. Um, these are some to-dos. Now, I don't expect every day to be filled with homework when kids go home from school. Um, I know life is busy and stuff. So this is just kind of suggesting what we should do. Um, 15 minutes of reading. I'll go over spelling soon. And then backpack pages. I'll go over those as well. Um, and then I just ask that you sign it and send it back with your child. Um, this is just, yeah. A couple notes. You can look at this. This is just, like I said, a rough draft to help guide you. So this will be in your student's take-home folder every day. I ask when they come in with their folder, they're going to hand this in. So if you don't sign it, if you miss a day, that's completely okay. I understand your child will not get penalized or anything. This is just for you and me to kind of see where they're at in terms of behavior and how they're kind of doing, bringing home stuff. Um, every week, if you go on this one, spelling. Kind of, this is the main thing I feel like of first grade in terms of homework. Um, your student will get spelling words sent home Friday. Um, if when they get sent home Friday, that means the test will be the following week. I will post messages on Seesaw and stuff if it changes where we have a test on a Thursday or something. But your child is expected to practice at least the words a couple times at home. Um, our first test will be next week. We'll start sending home those words and it'll make a little more sense. Um, 
that's kind of the main thing and I will grade those hopefully right after Friday and send those home as well. Sometimes they go home Monday though, depending on how busy our Friday gets. The backpack pages are from Super Kids and you will see when they go home Monday, it looks like a story. Um, you'll just read that story with your child. Um, eventually, I want them to read that throughout the week. That's kind of their at-home reading practice. So keep that, don't recycle it. Have them practice maybe every night with that. And then there'll be other ones that have them maybe practice spelling or our pattern words. And those don't need to come back to school. It's just for at-home practice. Math homework will occasionally be sent home, but like I said, I don't expect it to come back. It's just an extra tool for you guys to use. Um, our classroom management, we have a, a reward jar. We'll earn rubber ducks this year. That's something we came up with. We have a stuffed animal over on the shelf. The kids named it Ducky. So if they talk about it, that's who they're talking about. They'll earn rubber ducks depending on their uh, behavior as a whole class. Um, Individually, it, I do have a color system along with kindergarten and the other first grade and second grade. They start on green every day. If they make good choices, they have the chance to move up to purple as that goes on. Now, normally, I will be honest, a lot of the kids stay at green, sometimes move up to blue. Purple is like an outstanding day. So not to be concerned if your kid's not coming home with purple every day. It's green is absolutely great. Um, this is just a warning. Normally in first grade, it's a couple warnings before they actually um, move down to yellow. And then if it, they have some really big struggles throughout the day, it will be into orange or even red. Now, um, I don't have a clip chart. What I do is I just kind of have my own clipboard and make a mental note. I will have an individual conversation with the student and kind of talk about why maybe they're moving down and they always have the chance to move back up to green. And they will identify this on their, um, learning extension sheet and you can kind of see that they might color it with a crayon they might put a g they might i kind of let them choose how they want to indicate to you how their day went okay so if we have problems I'll always reach out to you but that's kind of what their color means we have jobs you can see if they can identify which ones they change on the week um, so every week your child will get a new job and then just kind of some other housekeeping stuff on the next sheet, snack and water, birthdays, um, please no toys at all. We've had um, a couple friends maybe have some stuff in their backpack and I just kindly remind them that those are for at home. I just don't want um, it to become a distraction or for anything to happen to those things. If um, we earn a reward and there's a sharing where they can bring in a, maybe it's a family picture or it's a stuffed animal, I will let you guys know if we choose that is our class reward. Um, and the last page, there is the schedule and this will be in their take home folder. So if you ever need reference at home, like, oh, I'm pulling them out for a doctor's appointment at one, you could kind of see what they're gonna be missing right around snack, they would go. But that is kind of the packet. I believe I covered kind of the main things of first grade, just spelling, um, kind of what you're gonna see going home. There won't be a lot of work that gets put in the blue that needs to come right back. Like I said, backpack pages, math, all of that can be all left at home. Um, so if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Like I said, email or Seesaw. Thank you for watching.